Hello and welcome to Rubyology screencast number eight. Today we're going to be talking about credit cards, um, specifically credit card validation. Um, we're not going to talk about uh, e-commerce credit card processing, but uh, this is useful if you want to validate whether or not your uh, credit card information is correct before you submit it. Um, and to do this, we're going to use a library um, from Lucas Carlson, it's credit, his credit card library. And um, to set up your environment, you do have to um, uh, download his library first. So you're going to do a sudo gem install credit card. Um, that's going to run for about a minute. And um, if you understand uh, the makeup of credit cards, uh, basically there's a checksum digit. It's the last digit, and there's an algorithm that determines. Uh, if that, that checksum has to equal the, the algorithm to, um, to determine if the credit card sequence of numbers is uh, valid or not. So that his, his uh, routine basically handles this. So if we, well, actually before I put the puts, we got to set up um, uh, the environment. So we'll do a require Ruby gems. And this is basically what we did in the uh, crypto uh, screencasts of uh, last week. Um, easy crypto there we require Ruby gems and we're going to require um, Lucas's credit card example now that's basically all there is to it to setting up the uh, environment there so now we're going to put to the screen um, and in true Ruby frat fashion here of object oriented uh, development um, let's put a credit card number here uh, dot credit card question mark so what this is basically going to do is it's going to return a boolean true or false on whether or not that value is a real credit card well for those of you that have credit cards you'll realize that that's not uh, what one looks like so we run this with textmate apple r and here we go false so a credit card number one two three four is not a valid credit card big whoop um i happen to have one here it's a test credit card and no this is not my credit card this is uh this is not a real credit card it's just one that uh, uh lucas recommends for test purposes um but what you could do, uh, if the person put this in on the screen like this, or if they put it in with um, the, the, the space after every four, which is pretty much what uh, how it's printed on the card, this will still uh, work. So with a little luck, let's run this. This should come back and pass uh, the sequence of a valid credit card set of numbers so so once again this does not mean that this is a truly a valid credit card this just means that the number sequence of the credit card matches with the uh, checksum and the algorithm so that's pretty cool that's that's pretty useful now if you wanted to uh, determine what type of a credit card this is that is also determined in the algorithm so um, what we could do is we could do a credit card type and uh, let's run this hey there we go it's a MasterCard so um, what you see there is uh, we've, we've been able to validate that the sequence of numbers matches a credit card validation algorithm and then we can also tell that it's a MasterCard so basically based on their information they fill in before you submit the request you could do some uh, real-time validation perhaps in your model of, of a Rails application and determine uh, whether or not uh, to even forward the, the uh, application on or to highlight the, the uh, field uh, for incorrect entry um, so I hope that helps. I hope you find this useful for your next e-commerce application. Um, I know I, I will. I, I 
uh, saw this and thought that definitely I could use this in some of my PayPal applications. Um, so until next time, Code Monkeys, I hope you uh, stay hard at it. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. If you have any questions, you can always email me, chris at rubyology.com. Or any feedback or any other shortcuts or ideas you have, I'd be happy to uh, air them. Thanks a lot. Keep on coding.